Hi, my name is Christoph, and welcome to the Quick Street Workshop. In last week's video, I showed you how I redesigned uh, Igor's uh, design, which you can see here. Um, it's just a, a little clip from his video, and it looked very promising. And I've seen many of this guy's videos, and he's not a not someone that will tell lies or try to cheat. Um, he was very honest and he said it didn't run indefinitely, it eventually it stopped. But it gave me much of my motivation to try this and to make it a 3D printing project. Um, so I, des I redesigned his design and put extra magnets all around. This is as close as I could make it to the, to the design on the computer. And let me show you a little bit of, of like I promised, of some hands-on footage of me messing around with all this.
Now the problem I have at the moment is this top bracket is wobbly and some of the energy goes into into making this wobble so I need to strengthen and reinforce this before I can carry on uh, but the mechanism is working <clears throat> But because of this, it's very unstable. The weight of all these magnets is quite significant. So I'll have to spend some time for next week to reinforce this. And unfortunately, this is all I'm going to have time for. <clears throat> but there, that is the model so far the way I designed it on the computer except for these things which are bent a little bit it seems like this needs to be offset a little bit so that the magnet can flip at the right time right there when when the magnet is in the middle of the so it attracts it attracts at that point and then it flips it and then momentum takes it past that point and then because the magnet is again in in that position it pushes it away again from this side when it's at speed there you can see it's pushing it away when it's in that direction so uh, because my machine is horizontal and not vertical I don't have the advantage of gravity to make this fall back to that position so I improvised a bit and this was my solution to to simulate what gravity did for the other machine and there you can see the adjusting screws so that, that at the bottom it it's got two stoppers that I can adjust. That little magnet in there, I can push forward and in and out as I want to. And then these things I can heat up as many times I want to. Uh, it's not like wire that's gonna break if you keep on bending it um, at the moment. I'm actually going to reprint these for next time because I want them to be straight and I'm I'm going to I'm going to adjust everything so that this can be a little bit lower so that I don't have to bend these down but for now for my testing I'm happy how it works the mechanism is working you can see the right at the moment when the magnet is in the middle then it flips over and springs back it doesn't seem that there's going to be a problem of the magnets interfering with each other someone did mention that i decide to put all the magnets on um, so I had four on, on them and I didn't have enough in momentum to to reach the, the next <clears throat> so um, this piece of flexiglass at the bottom here let me just turn it this way this piece of flexiglass at the bottom is not strong enough to carry the weight so i had to improvise there i've put that tensioner there so that i can adjust it and you can see it's actually bowed upwards now which is not ideal but it gives me enough clearance for the magnets there on that side because as you can see it needs all the clearance it can get so two problems that i'm going to sort out is the wobbliness of this 
I'm going to strengthen this, reinforce it. It actually needs bracing between these two, these two parts, then it will be more stiff. And I want to replace this bearing also with, with something that's got a pin that, um, that can adjust something like this, for example, at the top. A little adjusting screw so that, so that it can have a pin instead of a bearing because even this bearing although it's a dry bearing there's no grease or anything in it it's still if I spin this if I spin this completely without any of the magnets it stops because that bearing it's got friction. So replace that bearing with a, also a sharp pin and reinforce this. And then I'm going to be ready to, to test it. There you have it. Uh, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next week. Please like my videos and subscribe if you didn't do so already. I hope you have a wonderful week and weekend. Cheers.